Hi, I'm NASA astronaut Joe Acaba. Welcome everyone and welcome Paxi to the International Space Station. Today we are going to talk about recycling and I will show you how air and water are recycled on the ISS. Every day we need air to breathe and water to drink. These two resources are necessary for life. The ISS is like our own little planet, so we also need air and water to live. Of course, air is needed so we can breathe and live. And just like you, we use water for drinking, eating, and washing, but we also use water for some of the scientific experiments. Recycling is very important everywhere, but on the ISS, we have additional reasons to recycle. It is very expensive to bring new air and water to space, and there isn't enough room on the ISS to store enough air and water for long periods of time. This means that they have to be sent up, made, and recycled on board the International Space Station. On Earth, there are natural and human-made processes to keep the air and water clean and ready for humans to use. Paxi, before we talk about how the air and water is recycled on the ISS, let's go have a look at the water cycle back on Earth. Just like the ISS, the Earth has a limited amount of water that goes around and around in what we call the water cycle. The water cycle is made up of a few main parts, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. Evaporation happens when the sun shines on rivers and lakes, for example, and turns the water into vapor or steam. This vapor or steam leaves the rivers and lakes and goes into the air. This water vapor in the air then gets cold and turns back into liquid and forms clouds. This is called condensation. When a lot of water has condensed and the air can't keep it anymore, then it starts to rain or snow and this is called precipitation. When the water falls back on Earth, it either falls back into the rivers, lakes, or oceans, or onto the Earth and into the ground. This is called collection. Here we are at one of the toilets on the International Space Station. All of our wastewater is collected. While it doesn't sound great, the astronaut's urine is an important source of water as urine contains lots of water. Another source comes from the astronaut's sweat. This sweat creates humidity in the cabin atmosphere and is collected by a control system that is pretty similar to the air conditioning systems we have back on Earth. So the system collects the humidity in the air and transforms it into water. All of the waste liquid, the urine and humidity, is collected into these machines. In order to reuse the water collected from urine and sweat, it first has to be cleaned. Urine is treated separately at first. It is boiled and centrifuged or spun to create water vapor, which is then condensed and mixed with the humidity collected from the atmosphere in the cabin. The water is then passed through filters until the water is clean. The quality and cleanliness of the water is then checked. Once we are certain of the quality and the cleanliness of the water, we store it. Here we are at the air revitalization system, which keeps our air clean by filtering out the carbon dioxide that we breathe out and other trace gases that might be in the air. The system is composed of different units, one for removing the carbon dioxide from the cabin air and several others for removing the trace gases that might also be in the air. We also use our clean water to make oxygen for us to breathe by using an oxygen regeneration system, which turns the water into oxygen. Pretty cool science going on up here. This equipment is super important for our survival. We couldn't stay up here for long periods of time without them. Well, Paxi, I really enjoyed talking about how important recycling is and how we recycle water and air on the International Space Station. Thanks for visiting, and we hope you come back again soon. Thank you.